Hey everybody, welcome back to another standing ovation break. I got some more hockey cards. I got 22-23 Upper Deck MVP blasters, two of them. This is the current year of Upper Deck MVP, and uh, I haven't ripped any of this as I generally stay away from MVP, but what the heck, between now and Christmas, trying to fill in every day with some breaks, and uh, hope you guys are all enjoying your Christmas holiday season, and, and the likes. maybe these are going to be stocking stuffers for some kids out there, because this is really for the kids. There's like 15 packs in a box in this stuff, and it's under 30 bucks Canadian, so hey, less than two bucks a pack. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, heck, there's not a lot of high-end value in here. Although you could hit a good redemption card. I think that's the big hit in here. Uh, something in the, in the retail. I think there's a gold script exclusive into the retail. I do have one box of hobby of this. I might rip between now and Christmas too. We'll see how it goes. Excuse me. I got these for a really decent price. $22.99 plus tax, like I say. So two boxes is less than 50 bucks. Uh, just again, just a hair under 50 with your taxes and all that. So a lot of fun for 50 bucks here. Get the kids, wake wake the neighbors and, and uh, well, maybe don't wake the neighbors. Get the kids though if you got them. Because this is, this is prime prime collecting bait for the young young folk. We got to get them all in the, in the hobby. And heck, you know, I used to do it with bubble gum and... Now we got to just do it with cheap cards because they don't put gum in the packs. I still think they should think about doing that again. Get, get the gum in the packs on the low end. Yeah, I, know, I guess Old Peachy is the, the other low end brand. But Old Peachy is more collected, I think, because it's got like more numbered stuff and parallels. And, and uh, well, I guess this does too. There's hobby exclusive cards you can get, like the colors and contours and numbered versions. And, and uh, oh, look, it may contain. It's time sensitive redemptions. I believe that's the uh, draft card they're talking about. So let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's just, well, yeah, I'll go up one box at a time. Now I could make this happen really quick. I'll do one slow, one pack at a time, and then maybe the next box I'll just rip them right through. But the base design, much like last year's, a little bit of color separating the, the low and the high numbers. The last 50 cards, I guess, is what they call the high numbers. And then they got the, what do they call them, the attack version or the the um oh well, ice battles version and then uh yeah but the one thing they don't do anymore is put the enunciation of the guys like it used to say caw neck me and you'd know how to read the guy's name which they really got to do for soccer cards because i've been breaking a lot of those and just butchering a whole bunch of guys names lately it's fun though travis connecting philip forsberg okay and here's an ice battle so like i say they're all orange parallel this year kind of an orange parallel color and then the numbers on the back represent bull just a bunch of whole bull i don't know what there's who rates what they just throw numbers on there and make it look cool it's i guess easier than putting real stats on and here's a rookie fix walensky swayman and Pedersen. so let's make room for everybody here i guess the base will just start to pile up here and yeah uh, what, 25 rookies? Is it 30 rookies? I can't say. I know that for sure. Maybe 50 rookies? No, I don't think they're all 50 of the last high number. or all rookies. I think some of them are uh, veterans. Oh, look, at, there's an Encounters on Ice insert, which, again, somewhere in the back in those tiny printing words there, it said what your odds are on hitting all these inserts. I should just review. There's a nice Battles Vasilevsky. It is nice looking uh, King's Sharks Battle of. Kopitar and Couture. Uh, Aho and Dalin. Dalin. Yeah, let's see again. Without the wrapper on the box, it's maybe a little easier to read now. But the in other inserts you got are Ice Battles. Nope, that's not them. Encounters on Ice are 1 in 20. Domains are 1 in 14. Rookie Redemptions, 1 in 4,000. So let's look for a couple of those in this box. And the uh, number one draft pick redemption won at 12,500. There'll be a couple of those in this box, too. Sure, why not? Did I forget some? Gold scripts are one in every other box by the looks of it, maybe. Base of high. Three stars. Pinpoints, one in 14. So we got the encounters on ice, which is one in 20. So that's kind of cool. It's like a one per box insert. Well, maybe not one in every other box. One in box. Four, four out of five boxes would have one. I don't know. Do some sort of math. Pull out the calculators. Drake Batherson, 
Jacob Markstrom. Okay, here's a pinpoint dry cycle. Sharp looking inserts. You gotta, I gotta admit, for the uh, for the um, low end in, uh, production, you know, two dollars a pack kind of stuff. Good looking cards. Craig Smith, Ryan Reeves, and Artemi Panarin. Are these made in Italy as well? Printed in Italy. Yeah, it seems like the Italians got the print jobs these years. This year for Upper Deck, all the complaints of quality control. And roll, roll them across the ocean to get somebody else to make cards. It's hard to believe that nobody in North America can print quality hockey cards. Like, that's whatever happened to good old OPG in London, Ontario. Bor, Bor Horvat. Josh Bailey, Bob Horvat, Josh Bailey, Johnny Kovacek, Kovacevic, Kovacevic, Ice Battles rookie. Yeah, cool. I have fellow Caulfield and Backstrom. So, yeah, some of these rookies are obviously in Series 1, and, and probably some of them won't be, but um, a lot of carryover rookies in this set as well. Nobody, nobody brand new. Hunter Brown, Brock Nelson. There's the retro, Elias Pettersson. Kind of like a copper script, but it's just the retro. It's just a retro. Christian Dvorak battles, Raquel and Pasternak. Ricard Raquel. He scored tonight. Watched a bit of that game against uh, was it Pittsburgh. Was playing on the telly there tonight with uh, Chicago. Yeah. There's Lafreniere, Wrensky, Kale McCarr, Ice Battles, Jakob Galvis, rookie, Bennington, and Kopitar. Oh, yeah. So, again, 15 packs. It's about the best you're ever going to do for a blast of fun in Canada for the dollar value. Mark Stone, Kevin Fiala, John Tavares, Dmitry Orloff, Battles, Carlson, and Monahan. Monahan, Monahan. 22-23 products slowly making their way out as 21-22 finishes off their stuff, but man, there's a lot of 21-22 stuff left to go that we have not seen yet, let alone 2021 Cup, which we're still waiting for. Shadkirk Goudreau. Oh, look at this. Domains Kucherov. Again, another good-looking insert. Sparkly and shiny. Ryan O, Lucas Raymond, and Tavo Teravainen. Jesse Pugliari, Victor Hedman, Brad Marchand, by Ice Battles, Anton Lundell, Sonny Milano, and Brock Besser. Brock, see if he can't ever play a full season, Besser. Casey Middlestad, Marcus Felino, Connor Garland, Silver Script. There's a Dylan Cousins, Ice Battles, Landis Cog, and Spencer Knight. Yeah, and again, for those that like building sets, you know, it's not going to break your budget to buy a few of these before the season ends, and you're going to have pretty much a full set of something. Uh, Alex Killorn, Robbie Fabry, Michael Bunting. And, of course, they always make a factory set now, almost always. For the past few years, they made an MVP factory set, Joel Pavelski. Jack Hughes and Jack Campbell. Jack and Jack. Jack and Jack went up the rank to... Play a game of hockey. Jack came down and the other one scored. And Jack scored on Jack. Jack was mad, but the other Jack was happy. The end. Barkov, LeBanc, Verhage, Silver Script. Robertson having a heck, heck, a heck of a season. Great career he's off to, and that's a funky looking card with the orange and, and the green and the black. And, yeah, funky it is. If you look at the other Dallas jerseys, all those Dallas jerseys. I bet you there's a lot of people buying those right now. JVR and Devin Tays. Yeah, how many jerseys? Each team has like four jerseys now. Home away, alternate, and alternate reverse. Then retro, alternate, reverse, away, home, tricolor, rainbow jerseys, cancer fighting. Okay, sorry. Thomas Hurdle, Henry Yokihar. Oh, there's a gold script. Sam Reinhardt with the Panthers. Looks good in his current uni. Right on. And a nice Alex Tuka Ice Battles. 
It's Mo Cedar and Max Pacioretty. So again, I think the gold strips are uh, blaster exclusive. Does it say there? Collect all 50 guys here and ain't no way. But two bonus packs. Blaster exclusive. Collect all base set gold script parallels only available here. There you are. I didn't make that up. I thought I read it before and actually remembered. It happens. Tommy Wilson, Thomas Shabbat, and a retro of Artem, Artem, Artemi Panarin. Robin Leonard, Ice Battles, Taylor Hall, and Morgan Riley. The last pack of this first blaster, which has been quite the blast. As always. Hockey cards are fun. Okay, there's Adrian Kempe, Kemp, Kempe, Kemper, Kemp, Sam Bennett, Lucas Reichel, Ice Battles, Rookie. Cool. Philip Grubauer, Lucas Raymond, and Dougie Hamilton. So, out of the whole box, I got my gold script. I got two silver scripts. I got two retros. I got two rookies, which is kind of not that many. They're both high numbers. Uh, I got the one insert pinpoints, one domains, and one encounters on ice. And lots, well, lots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So every pack had an ice battles, one, in the pack, one per pack. And how many high number cards were in the base? If you sit here with me in the first box, we can just do a quick tally. And I believe it looks like those two rookies were the only high number SPs. So the last 50 cards you may find more prevalent in hobby box breaking. Or it just may happen that this was a really thin box of blaster, thin, uh, like a thin blaster, and didn't have a lot of uh, MVP high number in it. So let's compare it to the second box. Oh, there is one, a Grubauer from the Kraken. So. Aside from those two rookies, just one Kraken card. All right, well, let's see how that compares to this blaster. Blaster number two. And I get at this price, you might even find that I do this again. Perhaps with even more blasters. We'll see. I don't know. I don't want to get carried away with MVP just because I'm waiting for everything else to come out. But, yeah, it's 22 it's and this is current. And well, the other stuff is like off by a year still or two. Oh well, upper deck eventually will catch up and then it'll be owned by fanatics probably. Okay, so blaster number two. We got J G Pajot, Zuccarello, uh, pinpoints of Patty Kane, who also scored tonight in that game with the uh, Penguins. Barkoff, Bottles, Voracek, and Anthony Sorelli. I'm going to make a little bit more room here so we can all have a spot on the table. Patrice Bergeron, Anthony Duclair, and other encounters on ice insert of Shifley and Dreisaitl. Those are kind of cool. Do Excuse me, I got the Gas, I drink. I sold it a little too quick tonight. Oh, there's Lucas Raymond, Rupa Hints, and Marsha So. Yeah, drink your drink your soda slowly if you're a soda drinking kind of person. Although well, these days, nobody drinks soda anymore. I'm like, might as well be drinking straight 150 proof or something. Okay, pinpoints. I'm making piles where I cleaned up before. And, and, oh... Where are we going to go here? I'm just counting up all the high numbers that I haven't got yet. And, yep, making space, making space. But I'm not good at doing. But there we go. It'll work something like that. And we're almost done. Yeah. Logan Couture. Goss to spare LeBanc. Battling. Matt Boldy. Checklist. Grandland and Kuznetsov. So there's the high number SP checklist of a rookie, but it's not a rookie because it's a checklist. Interesting. Yeah, 201 and 250, and only two in between. 
Josh Anderson, Mark Edward Vlasic, Kadri of the Silver Script, Ter Tavo Teravainen, Ice Battles, Carter and Heesher. And moving right along. Mangiapani, Hyman, Ice Battles, Grubauer, Suzuki, Huberto, and Sayan. So I gather that Grubauer is a high number ice battle. Let's see. Flip those over and check afterwards, too, how it all turned out. Tavares, Ehlers, Retro of a flurry, looking good in his mini jersey, Minnesota jersey. It is kind of a small one, too, probably. Uh, Hurdle, Battles, Gerard and Stamkos. Yeah, so this hockey season has been looking kind of interesting so far. Jersey's playing like crazy. Toronto's for a change, playing like crap at the beginning of the season, so hopefully they play strong at the end of the season and carry on in the playoffs for a change. Alexiak, Thatcher Demko, Anton Lundell. I don't know who's going to be the turnaround team of the year. There's McDavid with a high number card. Cool. Kucherov and Talbot. Yeah, some teams have really underperformed this year. Some teams are playing probably where they should be, but some teams are expected to do better, and I don't know, it's, it's all, I'm really surprised at, um, well, a couple teams that haven't played as well as I thought they might by now. Uh, Chris Kreider and Josh Norris, Nazem Kadri, Henry Yoki Haru, Kirill Kaprizov, David Perron, but I guess the season is still fairly young. We're only in November now, almost December. I'm making this towards the end of November. Timo Meyer, Jamie Drysdale, Domain. Domain's Quinn Hughes with the U.S. flag behind. That's a sharp looking card. I like those. Worth the price of admission. Sonny Milano as a duck. Adam Fox and Elvis has left the building. Hers like a Brandon Saad, Carter Verhage, Kent Johnson, Ice Battles, Rookie, Brent Burns, Dylan Larkin, and Eric Carlson. Uh, collect 50, all high series star and SP Ria. So they're not all rookies, it says right there on the wrapper. Eli Tolvin and Ryan Suter, Matt Duchesne, Tommy Wilson, Ice Battles, Harry Bryce and Tyler Toffoli. There's Matt Dumba, Ryan Johansson, Brock Besser Ice Battles, Troy Terry, Miro Heiskanen, and Jonathan Taze, who set up that goal for Patrick Kane, just like old times. Cam Atkinson, Josh Morrissey, Kevin LeBanc, Gold Script, Thomas Shabbat, Ice Battles, Elias Lindholm, and Ryan, Punch in the Face Reeves. Last two packs here, Drake Batherson, Jakob Mar Markstrom, and a retro of Mark Stone, Jack Hughes Ice Battles, Artemi Panarin, and Sebastian Aho. And the last pack, 30th pack in this break, and the last pack in second blast, PLD Pierre-Luc Dubois, Jonathan Drouin, Dylan Sandberg, Ice Battles Rookie, Marco Rossi, rookie, as opposed to the checklist. No, that was Boldy. So there's a regular rookie. Rasmus Dahlin and a Jeremy Swayman. So I got three SP rookies out of two blasters. I got three other SPs, one a checklist, although it is a rookie. Grubauer from the Kraken and McDavid from uh, that team up there in Edmonton. And so six SPs. High numbers out of two blaster box. It looks like three per box then. Two rookies and a, I don't know, who knows what your breakdown is going to be. You're going to get two retros. You're going to get two silver scripts, perhaps three. But I only got, well, I, yeah, I got three in two boxes. So one and a half per box, I guess. I got a gold script in each box, which they do say you'll get. Or does it? It just says look for them. And I think they're one in 20 packs. 
So we'll review the box one more time. Oh, gold scripts. Oh, we're one in 40 gold parallel. Oh, wait, pinpoints. Oh, that's the parallels of the inserts. So there's gold versions of all the inserts. However, the gold script parallels are 1 in 18. So almost you're going to have one, not quite in every box. And okay, let's just quickly review those last rip to see if there was any other SP high numbers that I missed. They kind of stick out for some reason. You just, the rest of the set is whole hum compared to, you know, you got McDavid, you got a Kraken cards. I didn't see a lot of other Kraken players, so they're probably all the Kraken cards are up there in the high numbers. And all the rookies are up there too. And there you go. Wouldn't be surprised if there was an Ovechkin and a Crosby, but who knows what's all up. Oh my gosh, my whole display just fell apart. Shut it down. There we go. Put that back. It's all back to the way it was. Fixed, brand new. It's time to relocate, though. This this studio is going to get moved somewhere else in the very near future. Only one or two more breaks filmed before I move again. On on the move, always on the move. Not quite. Okay, yeah. So there you go. Two blasters of MVP. Got my inserts, my parallels, my rookies. The only thing I wanted to do is just review those uh, ice battles with you and see what the breakdown is, how many of those were high numbers, if there's any frequency, or the high numbers are just like hitting anything else. There's no real SP. When it comes to hitting ice battles, I believe they're all just, yeah. And I don't know if it's the whole 250 card set that's duped up there. I think it's just highlights from the set, but it's what it was. I'm pretty sure it's not the whole set. But again, I'm only pretty sure. So there you go. Because those rookies didn't didn't really save rookies, right? Like the rookies save rookies across the top. And none of the ice battles did. They just said ice battles. Ice battles, ice battles, ice battles, ice battles. Yeah. So they may be rookies, but they're parallels of the rookies, which make them ice battles and not rookies. But Sandberg, for example, would be a rookie. There you go, folks. Hope that was fun for you to watch. If it was, maybe throw a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed that, maybe subscribe. helps keep me growing. And uh, check all my stuff out up on eBay. And soon I'll be up on... Uh, I'll have a Patreon page and maybe get some of this stuff going and we can get some group breaks going and stuff like that. That hasn't quite happened yet. It'll be in the new year probably. But uh, in the meantime, folks, keep on collecting. Standing ovation. Out.